Hey Pokemon fans, welcome to today's Pokemon Trading Card Game Fact of the Day. Now this is a new thing that I'm pushing out every single Thursday. I really hope you guys enjoy it, and because it's the first time I've ever tried to do this, um, I might stumble a little bit along the way, but the more I practice, the better it's going to get, just like the current format of Profit. So, today's Fact of the Day. Did you know that Japan, in the early stages of Pokemon Trading Card Game's promotion, used a crazy Japanese singer complete in a full body suit and Mickey Mouse ears? Now, most of you guys who've been playing the game uh, recently have probably never heard of this man because he was kind of promoted around, I want to say like 97 to 2002, 2003, and his name is Tomoaki Imakuni. Most people just know him as Imakuni because that's the name of his original trainer card which was released in Japan. Now, Imakuni's a singer. I guess he recorded a lot of the songs for the Pokemon anime in Japan, but uh, us in America really haven't heard about him, and he's really an interesting character that I kind of want to talk about. Now, the strange thing about Imakuni, well, other than the fact that he's complete in this Mickey Mouse suit, sometimes he has a TV screen on his stomach, sometimes he's wearing full red, is uh, that he has joke cards in the Pokemon trading card game. Now, in the English game, we don't really have anything like a joke card, um, kind of like the way that Magic the Gathering has it, but um, these cards are really strange and actually kind of funny. Here's the one that most people, if they have heard of Imakuni, have seen before, and it's his original trainer card. What Imakuni does is confuse your own active Pokemon, and that's it. Now, when the game was first coming out, this was pretty much not useful at all. It's just a joke, you know, you confuse your own active Pokemon, but I guess it could be used to confuse your active asleep Pokemon to get rid of sleep, and then you could retreat them. But even then, you're much better off running full heal, which, if you guys have seen my 30 worst cards of all time, made that list. So it's worse than full heal. But it's just a funny card. It's really creepy because it has an actual person's face on it, which is pretty much non-existent in the Pokemon trading card game. And it's just really interesting. However, there's also a lot of different kinds of cards that were released around 97 to 2002, 2003 in Japan, and I just want to talk about a couple of them because I think they're hilarious. Um, one of my favorite is Imakuni's Wicked Skill. Now, this card states that you can remove damage counters from your Pokemon when your opponent isn't looking, and if they say anything about it, just deny it. I think that it's great. As far as I can tell, it's the only Pokemon trading card that promotes cheating in the game. And I know it's just a joke card, but I just think it's really funny for some reason. Um, also, the flavor text says, uh, if you see Imakuni in person, tell him he looks even thinner than he does on TV. It's just, just really strange stuff. Japan has a really weird sense of humor, and it's obvious why this kind of stuff never made its way to America. But it's really interesting to look back at now that we're so far into the game that you don't really hear about Imakuni even in Japan anymore. Another interesting card that I heard about when I was a kid was Imakuni's Doduo. It had the Pokemon power something like Run Away, which tells you to basically pick up Doduo and throw it horizontally off the table to help him run away. It even gives instructions. It says if you hold him horizontally and snap your wrist at the end, that it'll fly a farther distance. So I guess uh, the only Pokemon trading card that tells you to throw it off the table. Its uh, other attack is makes you sing as loud as you can while you're placing the damage counters. And once you're done singing, you can continue the game. So that's just ridiculous. Um, another card, and I noticed, uh, I guess Imakuni has a running theme of talking during the game, is uh, he has a line of a Whismur, Loudred, and Exploud EX. Now, uh, my favorite is Imakuni's Exploud EX. Uh, first, his Pokebody forces both players to have their mouth open as wide as their jaw will allow them during the game. And his attack makes you confess, as loud as you can, a person that you are uh, romantically interested in. I think it's ridiculous. Um, it even goes as far to say that even if it's a, even if it's a star, that's okay. So um, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, another cool card, which actually is very close to a playable card that we have, and is much more interesting because it could actually be playable, is uh, Shining Imakuni. Now, I think that this card is probably the creepiest art ever featured on a Pokemon card. It's just really strange. It's kind of this, you know, his weird deformed face with the light shining on him. I don't know. It just looks weird. But one really interesting thing about this card is it's just like here comes Team Rocket in that the first thing you do is reveal all your prize cards face up. The other thing you do is flip your deck upside down and both players can view their other opponent's next top deck on their card. 
Now when you shuffle, you turn your deck upside down, shuffle it again, and put it back face up, but it's just interesting. It's kind of fun to play with, and if you just want to joke around with a friend, a fun way to play a Pokemon game is just pretend that Shining Imakuni is in play, and then you have to play with your deck and prizes face up. It's just fun, and I think that Imakuni really is an interesting guy, and he's definitely a weird aspect of the Pokemon trading card game that most people in America have probably never seen. Now the one way you probably would have seen him is if you played the Pokemon Game Boy Color game, which I think was released around 99 or 2000, and that's the only game in America that's ever released about the Pokemon trading card game. Here you can actually battle Imakuni as an opponent. He actually does play his own Imakuni card to confuse his own Pokemon, and he's just an all-around strange character in that game. He's always singing, telling you to dance with him, and uh, there's actually some really creepy music that plays when you find him in a room inside of that game. So that's today's fun fact of the day. I'll continue pushing out more every Thursday, and tune in tomorrow for a full episode of Profit. Thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.